another episode of the Jarring Science Club. I'm your host, Brenda, and Amy is here with me in the room, so you may hear her in the background. Today, we're going to be making a sand volcano. Here's what you're going to need. A big jar of sand, a little bottle that can fit down inside of your jar, a large tray, some red food coloring, some baking soda, some vinegar, and if you want your experiment to last a little longer, some dish soap. All right, let's get to it. All right, before we move on to actually making the outside of the volcano, let's make the magma. We're gonna put in some food coloring, a little bit of dish soap. The dish soap isn't necessary, but it helps make your experiment last a little longer. Some vinegar. Give that a little swirl. Now we're gonna bury this inside of our volcano. All right, put a base layer of sand in. Then add your bottle. Put a lid on it to keep the sand from getting inside. And then just fill up the rest of sand. Now, if you want to make it cool, even cooler, get a little bit of sand for the bottom. I'm just going to make it rain sand. All right, we're going to uncover the inside bottle and then add in our baking soda and watch things happen. Here's the science. A volcano is a crack that occurs in the Earth's crust, usually around a mountain because that's already on a tectonic plate. And the crack in the crust allows hot magma to flow through and erupt into the Earth's surface. We have mimicked that in our experiment because we have the sand that kind of represents the mountain and the vinegar and baking soda reaction that mimics the magma. Now, the chemical reaction that causes the mountain to erupt in our case is not hot magma. That wouldn't be safe. We have used baking soda and vinegar, which are materials that have opposite pH ratings. A baking soda is a base and a vinegar is an acid. And when those two combine, they create a chemical byproduct that is carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide releases as gas, which makes bubbles in the mixture, particularly if you've added soap, and that erupts out of the volcano, and it looks very similar to a real volcano. That's it for today. See you next time.